Hello, this is the Provoke Prawn, and if you've just built yourself a PC and now you want to go about installing Windows but you don't have a spare laptop or other PC that you can use to download the installation assistant and media for Windows to install it onto the PC, don't worry because I'm going to show you how to do it with an Android phone. Now you will need a few things. You are going to need a decent size USB thumb drive and an OTG adapter which is essentially a USB-A to USB-C dongle that you can see something like here. That I'm using in this setup here and I'll link to some things in the description. But essentially it allows you to plug this into your phone and then have it recognized. We will then also need to download an app which is a free app although there will be a small expenditure and I'll show you that later on. But essentially this allows you to go through the same steps that you would on PC to download the installation media and then to install it onto this USB thumb drive that will then connect up to our PC to install Windows on it in a minute. So the process is fairly straightforward, but a few caveats. Make sure you've got a drive that's big enough. So you can see I'm using a 32 gigabyte drive here, for instance. If you have a too small thumb drive, that's obviously not going to work. We also need to go through the steps of downloading the right installation tools, and I'll link to this in the description. In this video, I'm using Windows 11 as an example. And normally you'd go and find the installation media. That's what you do on PC. But because we're doing it on phone, it has to be slightly different. So you'd actually download the Windows 11 disk image ISO for x64 devices. So again, watch out for that and I'll leave a link in the description to it. But essentially, you need to download that to your phone and then we're going to use an app to install it to the USB drive. And then you just plug the USB drive into your PC and go through the installation process there. There are some obviously caveats. You are going to have to buy that dongle to connect it up to your phone. And you are going to have to pay a little amount in the app and I'll show you why in a second. Download this ISO file. It takes some time. It's quite a big file. And then we need to install the app as well. And I'll link to that in the description. Plug the drive in and just basically keep the settings as standard. And then select the ISO file that we've got here. You can see that it says it takes five gigabytes. So make sure your thumb drive is as big as that. Now the next problem we've got is that you have to buy coins in this app in order to get it to work. It says you can watch ads, but I found this didn't really work. So I paid for five coins, which cost me £1.29, which is the pittance really, so it's fine. But it is a pain that you have to pay. But there you go, you don't get anything for free in this life. So then go through the steps and install it, and you'll find that takes quite some time. It does take quite a long while for it to work. And then once that's completed, obviously plug the USB media into the back of your PC and turn it on. Now, I came across a problem initially where mine just didn't work, and that was probably because it corrupted. So if you have a similar issue, it's worth knowing there are other options. So I have this Anchor USB-A and USB-C adapter, which is for SD cards. This is another choice. Instead of using a USB dongle, you can actually use an SD card. So you can use that and this SD card reader. This is a potential option. So if you've got an SD card knocking around that's a decent size, you could buy this Anchor dongle and then you can plug that into your PC and your phone instead. You can see that it basically goes through the same steps. We're installing that ISO onto the SD card using this adapter on my phone. It was immediately recognized. I just went through the same installation process and it was actually a little bit faster using this as well, which is interesting. And then you just plug that into your PC. Now, the advantage of this thing, as you can see, is it has USB-C and USB-A connections on it. So it makes it really easy to install in either of those, depending on what you've got on your PC. So if you've got USB-C, use that because it's faster. If not, just stick to the USB-A, no problems. Turn your PC on and then it should immediately recognize it and go straight into the ISO where essentially it just goes into the creation installation process and then you just follow the steps on screen to install it onto your drive that you've got installed in the PC, whether it's NVMe, SSD or hard disk drive. And that's fairly straightforward. If it doesn't do that, then mash F2 on your keyboard until you get into your BIOS. And then we want to look for the boot settings. So you can see down here in the bottom left, it's got Windows Boot Manager as one of the recognized sections. If you've got multiple drives in your system, it might be that it's trying to boot from one of the other drives instead of the USB drive or the SD card, whatever you're using. And so this can cause problems. Essentially, what you want to do is you want to set that SD card or USB drive as the first option in the boot list. So you can see here I've got Windows Boot Manager. So just make sure that that's the first option and any other drives in your system are disabled. So it's not trying to boot from those and then save and restart. And it should then go into the installation process. So you then go back in 
and start installing Windows. So fairly straightforward, as you can see. Actually, obviously, I've shortened this process. The downloading of the ISO takes quite some time, and the installation onto the USB drive takes quite some time. But this obviously saves you a lot of hassle because you don't have to worry about finding another PC in order to do this. So it is possible to install Windows onto a thumb drive from your Android phone, which is pretty great, to be honest and it should make life a little bit easier. And then once it goes into the installation process and then goes to restart after the first thing, make sure you then pull out the drive, take it out, because otherwise it will try and boot from that again, and then you could end up stuck in an installation loop and it just becomes a pain. So once that's removed, it then should go on to the next stage of installing Windows, and it will just go through various steps until you go through the process of basically clicking all the different options and installing it. And there you go, that is the finished process part of the build and you should find now that you've got windows and you can just go through and download everything your games and whatever else and get on and have a great life thanks very much for watching you've made it right to the end of the video you brilliant legend you if you've enjoyed it click that subscribe button give me a thumbs up and drop me a comment down below if you've got any questions if you really enjoyed it consider joining the channel and see the benefits of doing so. Check out these other videos. You might well find them interesting or useful. And most importantly, have a great life.